Early in 2017 Fern McCann declared in an OK magazine exclusive that she'd finally found love in the form of S. Boy and former scaffolder Arthur Collins. The former The Only Way is S. Beauty even revealed her marriage plans. Opening up about her dream of a beach ceremony. However, her dreams were shattered after he was arrested and found guilty for a London nightclub acid attack. And later sentenced to 20 years in prison. In Fern McCann, first time mum, Fern has since admitted she's taking daughter. Sunday to prison to meet dad Arthur. Speaking on the show, she said, I am Sunday's mum and I am her full time parent. It wasn't an easy decision to make but it was a considered decision and I sought professional help. Here's everything you need to know about Fern's ex and baby Sunday's dad. Arthur is a 25-year-old from Broxbourne in Hertfordshire and was a former scaffolder and businessman. Famous for his relationship with the S Beauty. Arthur was found guilty of carrying out an acid attack at Mangle Nightclub in Dalston, London. He had claimed he threw the substance by mistake after hearing a group of men plotting to spike a woman's drink. Arthur was sentenced to 20 years imprisonment. The reality TV favorite was rumored to have dated businessman Arthur in June 2016 for a few months but never publicly discussed their relationship. Fern revealed how they really met to OK Magazine. Saying, we met on Instagram. I followed him first before I went on I'm a celebrity, so it was around August 2016. I thought he had such an unusual, cool look. Then about a month later he slid into the DMs. Sam Fire's former pal instantly ended her romance with the S-boy after discovering his role in the acid attack and has refused to talk about him in recent interviews. Speaking at the time, Fern said on this morning, this isn't how I imagined my first pregnancy to be. But this isn't about me. My main concern and priority is the baby. Fern is documenting her journey as a first-time mum on IV. With Daughter Sunday, watch Wednesday, May 2nd, at 9 p.m.